guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is single number in this question we have given an array which contains integers where every element appears twice except for one element so if we take this example two appears twice and one appears only once we need to find that element which appears only once so one is the output here and in this case four is the output because one and two appear twice we need to implement this solution in linear time that is o of n and constant space. We shouldn't use any external data structure to solve this problem. So I'll show you two methods. The first method I'm going to use a hash map which will fail this question criteria but that is the name approach of how to solve this problem. Next I'll show you an easier method using XOR which will use constant space and the time complexity will be o of n too. So first I'll show you the name approach using hash map. So let's start method 1. As I said, let us declare a hash map. So inside this hash map, the key is going to be an integer and the value is also going to be an integer. Keys will represent the array elements present inside the array nums and the value will represent the frequency of that array element. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to fill up the map with the keys that is the array elements with its frequency and we are going to check the frequency of that array element which is equal to 1. So wherever the value is equal to 1 we will we'll output the respective key. So let's iterate through the input array nums. Now I'm going to check if the array element at ith index position is present inside the map. If it is present inside the map, we'll increment its frequency by 1. So if map.contains key nums of i. So if this is true, we're going to increment the frequency of that element. So map.put key is going to be the array element nums of i. The frequency is going to be the frequency map.get of nums of i. I'm going to get the current frequency and increment it with 1. And in the else block, which means that that array element is not present inside the map. So basically this else block will be executed for every unique element. And from the next time, whenever you find that array element inside the nums of i, will increment its frequency by 1. So this is how you are going to fill the map. So in the else block, you'll only insert the array element at the key and will set the frequency as 1. Map.put nums of i. So this is how you'll fill the hash map. Now let's iterate through the hash map using a for each loop and the entry set method. So I'm going to create a set of entries for the map using the entry set method. For that I'm going to use the entry interface for map.entry till the entries will contain what is present inside the map that is integers for both keys and values. I'm going to name it entry, you can name it whatever you want. So with this object, I'm going to access the entries inside the map. Now to create a set of entries, I'm going to use the entry set method, so map.entry set. Now using the entry object, I'm going to access each entry inside the map. Now let's check for the values which have value equal to 1. So if entry.getValue is equal to 1. So it means that we need to get its respective key. In this case, the value of 1 is 1, so 1 will be the output. And in this case, the value of 4 is 1, so 4 will be the output. Because 1 has the frequency of 2 and 2 has the frequency of 2. Now whenever you access the entries and find the value of 1, we need to get its respective key. So let's return the respective key. Return entry.getKey. Now we have to return some value, right? That is an integer. So let's take the case where there is no element which repeats 1. So we'll return minus 1 as the output. Now let's try to run this code. There you have it. We're getting the expected output. Let's submit this code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. But the runtime is pretty high, which is only faster than 23.79%. Now let's come to the second method that is to find the XOR of all the elements present inside the nums array. So the basic rule of XOR is that if you XOR two elements with the same value, so if A XOR A, you'll get zero as the output. So if you take this example, let's XOR all the elements present inside the nums array. 
2x or 2 is equal to 0. So we'll replace this with 0. 0 x or 1 is 1. So we get 1 as the output. So that is the logic we're going to use. So let's declare the output variable called result and initialize it with 0. Now let's iterate through the nums array using a for each loop or let's declare an integer variable called num which will iterate through the nums array. Now let's xor num with result in each iteration and store it inside result itself. So result xor equal to num. So this statement translates to result equal to result x or num. This will happen for all the elements present inside the nums array and finally you'll get the output inside result. So you can print result as the output. Return result. In this case the time complexity is O of n that is linear time because we are only iterating through the array from once. n will represent the number of elements present inside the nums array. And the space complexity is constant because we are not using any extra space. Now let's try to run this code. There you have it, we are getting the expected output. Let's submit the code. Awesome, our solution has been accepted. The runtime is 1ms, which is faster than 94.47 of the Java online solution. That's it guys, that's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.